Hello, we are back. Hello. We in here. Back in y'all lives. <laughs> happy Sunday to yeah, everyone. Happy Sundays, everybody. Sundays. Ooh. That's us. That's we, we out here. <laughs> <laughs> we and are out uh, here. Dare I say, summer is upon us. That's right. It is so summer, summer. Bring out those lazy lake Sundays, people. Oh, yeah. Lazy it's been Sundays, folks. lazy pool Sundays. Oh, that Just was me today. Get by the water, you know. Sure. See? It's a thing. That's right. And yeah, if you man. have any rapids, especially grand ones, in your, <laughs> your city, appreciate those. It's nice. <laughs> <laughs> i have yeah. beach i have beaches so oh yeah I'm you do have beaches you got beaches and peaches down there in georgia I do. Right. okay all right <laughs> Ryman, okay. all right beaches and peaches. Okay. hey yes On, and all of the above all the jays including all this all one. the jays <laughs> the oh. blue jays the blue jays. red jays <laughs> the PJs sure. and TJs. <laughs> yeah, the DJs. <laughs> the DJs. There you go. That's right. Most J's. DJs. Hey, yeah, gross. You gotta have the BJs. <laughs> Shout out to all the chicks um, out there. <laughs> and here we go. Getting back Women can get blowjobs too, all right? <laughs> and here we go. Okay. I wonder how that goes. Have never mind. Anyway, Eric had you just his blow right into it. Just <laughs> 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 it whistles sometimes. <laughs> There's an echo. Um, hello, hello. Exactly. And then yeah. when the air is coming right. back out, it makes like a little fart noise. Yeah, a, a womanly fart. How would that sound? How would that a sound? A womanly fart. <laughs> a womanly fart. <laughs> Do we have a sound effect for that? I, I don't. I don't have fart effects. We don't have queefs yet. Send in your queefs. <laughs> 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 Record them, folks. <laughs> Record them. We want to hear them. Record your queefs, and we might use them on this podcast. We right. might. And the that's the best queef. <laughs> it featured. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The and Sunday's you podcast. Can top the at one Gmail. from the week queef before. Of the week. <laughs> Of the then week. you know right. we'll we'll bring it up. You know we'll bring you know that what? one on and it, we'll crown if, a new champion. If your queef is good enough, we'll put it. We'll put it in the opening sequence. <laughs> oh shit! Right after the exhale. <laughs> <laughs> Just <laughs> yeah. Exactly. That's oh, yeah. what we are all about. All about, about the it. weird noises, the cum. The bodily functions. Yep. The bodily <laughs> functions. Body noise. Yep. I mean, we all have a favorite bodily noise. And um, mine, I think, is um, I love a good sneeze. That's a good one. Because people I make the stupidest noises when they sneeze. That is I true. love the, s- the feeling after sneezing. Like, you get that relief of, yeah. like... Yeah. You know, I don't yeah. know. Well, obviously, it, you but. only sneeze one time in a row when you're like a multiple. When sneezing. you're having an you attack, don't know me very you're well. fucked up. I straight up have uh, these sneezes, sneeze it's attacks. A, it's an attack. And, yeah, uh, it it's makes you tired. It takes, it's it out of you. <laughs> takes it out of you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mine is karma because so my my grandpa, when I don't know why, it's whenever we go out to dinner or something, but it's always at restaurants. And it's always after he's eaten. And all of a sudden, he just gets these big sneeze attacks. Lots of pepper. Like, just out of nowhere. He just can't, uh, he just uncontrollably is sneezing. And as a kid, I would just make fun of him all the time <laughs> for it. Like, I and now it's, it, it doesn't happen to me in like restaurants and stuff, but it'll just happen randomly. And I'm just like, fuck, karma's a bitch. <laughs> See what you did there, Michael? Karma See came back around. Did? Yeah. I didn't know about karma when I was 10, you know? Like, fuck. Nobody taught me about that in Christianity. Well, they should (laughs) have. I know. Wrong religion. Nope. That's blasphemy. That's right. Just repent. We won't have it. Just repent. All right? Uh, repented. Done. Me and G-O-D are good. all things are possible, so jot that down. Damn right. Burps are pretty good. I like voting on them. 
Yeah. Well, it's it can be known. fun. Drink up. <coughs> Stella. My favorite is Eric. The, uh... Eric with some Stella. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. It's been a minute. It's bad. I haven't had Stella. <laughs> A are y'all drinking beer? I'm the only one drinking beer. hard hard stuff. Ugh. Yeah, well, beer switch up. summertime. Look at that. I got, Lake days. Oh. Got the koozie. She's got some <laughs> summer shandy. <laughs> it's so fun. Get it's just koozie. like, this and is this a Colorado party. koozie right there. Colorado. <laughs> Can't bait it. Got the <laughs> bottle one. I is love a, a good <laughs> bottle. Is that Dude, a that is a good bottle one, yeah. Koozie looks like a G for Gatorade. Brought to you by Gatorade. G3. G3. It's the force. That's right. Get with That's it. Force. Gatorade, right? G3. Right. That's their low calorie version. Probably, man. Brought Probably. to you by Ga- G3. Gatorade 3. G3. I'm a terrible <laughs> Gatorade smokes. 3. The first two Gatorade didn't do so well. <laughs> <laughs> Sir Gatorade the third. <laughs> I love crying too. I love seeing people cry. It makes oh. me so happy. Oh my god, I act okay, so <sighs> I'm easily grossed out. But not in the cliche ways. In dumb ways that I wish I was like I hit I hate burps. I hate watching someone cry because inevitably that teardrop is going all the way to their lips and then they lick their lips so they're Ugh! okay, I just <laughs> I can't even think about it. <laughs> just don't eat tears. It's weird. Like, I don't know. I'm just so grossed out by the dumbest shit that's supernatural. Not supernatural. Supernatural. But, <laughs> but it's like, it's all Space natural, you know? Natural. Like, humans yeah. have bodily functions, and humans have things that they have to do sometimes. And I'm just like, nope. I'm not about that. And it's dumb. <laughs> and... I'm just trying to figure out ways to get over that, but it's tough. It's <laughs> tough. But anyway, so when you say favorite uh, sounds, um, all of them make me cringe. <laughs> I don't have a favorite. I have a least favorite, and it's all of them. I like the accidental quick fart. Like a yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Like when Jeff farted the first time? <laughs> yeah, yes, exactly. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> that was the best. <laughs> thank you. Uh, I, you know, I purposely got a claw, a new office chair that was cloth because I knew that I was going to be farting in it the whole time. <laughs> and I didn't want to get a leather chair because then people would be able to hear me. <laughs> no, I you think be the ahead. Office person. You got to be. The person in the office that's just let them go. Oh, I definitely do, but I do them carefully in my office on my chair that allows me to get away with it. That's like one of one of the top benefits of being a line cook. You can just fart. Seriously? Yeah, the food's gonna, yeah, the food's the gonna <laughs> fucking stink yeah. up the place. So he doesn't, you know, it's not gonna, nobody's gonna smell your fart. It's true. It's facts. Huh. And I yeah, guess it's kind of loud because you're like number one, number well, two. I mean, you know what I mean? All like the you're loud. And the fans and everything, to right? Keep you from suffocating and carbon oh, monoxide dying. poisoning. <laughs> oh, and that's <laughs> loud too. Loud. Oh, you guys yeah. got it good. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't I mean, have it anymore, but. In exchange, so everyone out there, like just know when you go out to eat, there, all your cooks are farting on your food. <laughs> yeah. All of them. Your food's getting farted on for sure. But proudly farted on. Seventies. When you're getting your food farted on and cigarette ashes in your food. So, Ooh, I mean, gross. there you go. Lisa yeah, remember when in the away. 70s? <laughs> back in the day. Back in the good old days. <laughs> Take me back Those to the Those were 70s. the days. <laughs> yep. Those were the days. Those so, uh, days. Johnny Depp and Amber Heard, huh? Ugh. Yeah. I mean, look, guys. I'm convinced that was all just <clears throat> for entertainment. I mean, not like, only did she poop in the bed, but she pooped <laughs> on the set of Aquaman. Like, what? Like, yeah, how, fucking come on. Jason That's... Momoa like testified that she pooped in the pool <laughs> that they were uh, filming in. Was she? What does that have to do with anything, though? I mean, like, was she so, like, tormented that she had a loose butthole? 
Is that what the idea was? I don't think that's how that works. No, I think... No, it was just saying that she had like a... uh, like a Fetish. history or something of like she's like not instability. treating people right. She's like you know? Louis C.K., but instead of masturbating, it's it's shit pooping <laughs> in people's beds. Seriously? <laughs> I don't yeah, know. she shit in their bed. <laughs> That's okay, gross. And she then shit apparently on two beds. the set of Aquaman. Was it in her bed from the Yeah, scene? I, I mean what? I didn't watch Aquaman either, but he testified, Jason Momoa testified that <coughs> they were filming a scene and he saw a brown fish, but the problem was all of the fish would have been computerized. So why was there a, br- and then, and then he said it was Amber's turd and laughed really hard. Like she I, did I it because it was a prank? <coughs> Honestly, I don't. I know. don't, I don't Poop is know. Funny. Maybe she watched if that this episode was a real of trial. Sunny. Like, <laughs> were they just? Was this just like a, a limited short series? Yes, set it was. It was. It was weird. Like, this and I missed was... bits and pieces of it, so I'm trying to get you know get the full story. Bits and pizzas. I tried to miss all of it. <laughs> yeah. I didn't want to hear any of it, but <laughs> I, I just kept really seeing follow. it on Instagram yeah, and shit. Exactly. So I was like, all right, well, I'll I'll check it out because it's crazy <laughs> as fuck. I mean, out of everything going on in the world right now, that's the yeah. least thing I cared about. Right. Yet somehow it consumed more of my time than I ever wanted. Yeah. To close it. <laughs> six weeks. A six yeah, week. Yeah. Six trial. weeks. We watched it for. I mean, we didn't watch. I didn't like watch it at all, other than like clips. But still, like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. There are some clips that are like very questionable. Like, there's one where somebody hands her a. A napkin to blow her nose, but she clearly fucking inhales. I've never seen anybody blow their nose that way. I thought you were going to say she clearly thought it was a bed sheet and she tried to shit in it. (laughs) (laughs) She thought it was toilet paper, thought she needed a wipe real quick. (laughs) She couldn't hold it in anymore. Um, I I saw. She clearly inhales. Like, it just looks like she took a bump of Coke, is all I'm saying. (laughs) <laughs> that, I did see that clip. I also saw the other clip where she was, it looked like that she was posing for a picture of her being really sad up on the stand. And I was like, oh, yeah. hmm. There's this video where she's like, and then my dog got stung by a bee. Yeah, I saw that. I was like, it's but like, I don't. Does this like cool, crazy fucking face? <laughs> I mean, they're both yeah, actors. Yeah, that was weird. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, I'm pretty sure his lawyer, I've seen in a couple movies. Oh, for <laughs> real? <laughs> hey, you were really good in that movie. Do you want to actually be Suits. my lawyer? <laughs> <laughs> Suits. I just think that there are women who do take advantage of the whole idea of, you know, quote unquote, the Me Too movement. Right. And they try to get an upper hand in some way, I think, by by exploiting those that have had real experiences. I mean, that's just and abused. And I think double edged sort of social media. It gets. Yeah, but I think she's one of them. And I think a lot of people's like argument against it is that. That, oh, just another woman who's getting silenced, another woman who, you know, tries to speak out and, you know, everyone is just mocking her now because she tried to tell the truth and this and that. You can try and look at it that way, but if you look at, like, what they actually, like, gave, it's like, their lawyers and all their witnesses and everything, like, they didn't give anything that would suggest that what she was saying was remotely true. In fact, it almost all pointed to the opposite. Well, that's what I'm saying is that she is taking advantage of that whole like idea and people on the left are like, "Oh, it's just another just another example of it's a man's world." And it's like, "Well, no, like people need to realize that like you can't get away with shit just like just because of a stereotype, I guess, in a weird way. I don't know. Maybe that's not the right word, but 
I don't know. I like, just think like, I just think that I don't agree with that argument is what I'm trying to say. The and times we're living in now of it. are weird. Truth means nothing. It's whatever you can convince other people to mm-hmm. believe. So I mean, what with, with to social media extent. too, you can find you can find people to back your story, whatever, back anything, and then you can find enough people to make you actually believe it's legit. And there's always there's equal amounts of people on both sides of whatever thing you want to try to convince or tell. So what I'm saying is it's social media's fault. Well, I think you bring up an interesting point because there are so many different perspectives on on a one reality, one event that happened, one circumstance that, you know what I mean? Like you might see it you might see it as this, but the other person see it as like you know, for example, the whole fucking Aziz Ansari thing, you know? He saw it as like, oh, everything's cool. And then she saw it as like, oh, God, this is harassment or whatever, you know? It was like a weird, no one's really going to communicate things or be like straight up about anything. And so there's going to be a lot of miscommunication in that, you know? Mm-hmm. I don't know. I think Th- what Therefore, is, like, is... not the whole truth. Well, it's just like Eric was saying, there really isn't a truth. It's everyone's perspective and everyone has a different perspective. So everyone has a different side of the story of what. Mm -hmm. And also, Mm -hmm. like, you can think, you know, someone's intentions, but like the like only that person knows their true intentions. You know what I mean? And like a lot of people like to place intentions on people and be like, oh, well, they did it because of this. And it's like, you don't fucking know. You don't know, especially especially celebrities because they're constantly in the spotlight constantly scrutinized constantly like being analyzed and picked apart so it's like who the fuck really knows what's even going on in their heads like having to deal with all that shit maybe they make a maybe they make a whole scene mm-hmm. out of it just to fucking make fun of the whole thing you know maybe they are dramatic about it in an ironic way or some shit i don't know i don't know yeah I just think it comes down to, like, accountability, you know? Like, mm-hmm. if you're yeah. claiming that somebody did terrible things to you, like, if they aren't doing terrible things to you for any of the things that you're saying, then you should be held accountable for trying to ruin somebody's life. You know what I mean? Okay, like, but, like, There are what? countless, <coughs> like, like and, and it's on both sides. There are countless men who do it. There are countless women who do it. It doesn't matter, uh, you know, but there's got to be some accountability for those who uh, but how know, do you are falsifying get accountability. These how do you like, hold someone accountable on that? It's I mean, it's once you find, word against word. I mean, but it's evidential. It, there's still evidence that is in the play and there's, you know, testimonies. And that's why there's a whole trial. Right. If that person is not found guilty of the things that you're saying they did to you, then you should have some sort of like accountability for that. Like, so you should... what if we're talking about someone like Michael Jackson who has had trials and proven innocent in all his trials, but still has this negative image? It's a social thing. It's not <coughs> it's not a legal matter. Right. It's a it, society will label you how they want no matter what. Same with OJ. OJ was technically acquitted, but we all say he's a killer. I, he well, because that's what the he evidence pretty shows. much says it. He pretty much says it. Like, right, but um but that but that's what but but that's the point. Is society that's the point Cassandra's making is society is going to make you out to be whatever they think anyway. It doesn't matter as long as you're it's not popular opinion. Yeah, popular opinion is different than like a singular person literally taking you to trial saying that you did these things to them for millions of dollars or whatever just trying to make a quick fucking paycheck. So like how do we what do we do to fix that? <laughs> I mean, you give the people who are you know, accusing them 
who obviously the accuser didn't do these things, you, you give them jail time. You give them, uh, you know, fines, all sorts of shit you can do. Like, but in like the times we live in now, people will like say, say, for example, this isn't true, but for example, let's go back to the Johnny Depp, Amber Heard thing. She technically lost the trial and say like, they're like, oh, well, you lied, made up all this bullshit, so she's got to go to jail now. Her supporters would rally online and boycott and, like, try to affect pocketbooks of whatever. You can you can say that all you want, but the... I mean, that's what happens. I don't think that that will do any damage. It wouldn't it do anything, do anything damage, because... But that's what happens. But it doesn't do like they're not they're not going to accomplish anything in that. Like you can have I mean, look at how many uh, hip hop artists that go in jail, go to jail. Young Thug and uh, what's his name right now are in prison uh, and they're trying to get bond and they can't get bond. And everything like that. And their trial is not for like over a year or something like they can't get bond. And yet. All these hip hop fans are like, you know, let these guys out, you know, saying all they this still, shit on uh, in, Instagram and Twitter they still and play else. them on the radio because that actually attracts more listeners. Exactly. Did you know that? Mm-hmm. It makes sense. So, like, um, I actually had this example with, or I spoke about this with a colleague of mine, uh. who is a DJ on our urban station. 7.5. And he said that when, like, especially Young Thug, he, we ha- we started to play him more because he's in jail right now and more people find that attractive. But I gave him the example of, like, a country artist who said the wrong thing. His songs were immediately pulled from the radio. So I don't know what exactly that's what all was about. the wrong thing he said? Yeah. So it was Morgan Wallen. He said the N word. And, uh, I knew see, it. I and felt like he, he got more popular after he, that then he did. Incident. However, at first, radio stations pulled him. All country stations pulled him. He also because... got cut from performing on SNL. Yeah. But yeah. then they brought him back like two weeks later. Yep. Yeah. But either way, though, like, to me, it's still, hey, an artist did something that was taboo. How do we react? White people react by saying cancel. And I I guess, mm-hmm. you know, um, I don't know. I hate to put labels on stuff, but at least with the rap listening audience, they find that way more attractive. Like, it's just, uh, I don't know. I don't well, know. Well, I feel like we all just need to start mining our own fucking business <laughs> or that yeah. no, i was no. i was gonna say how much of it though like uh and this is this might get into a, a topic it might be a little strange but uh let's get strange how much of it is you know in the hip-hop world them going to prison or to jail like how much of that gives them validity well, yeah, that's you know what, what it's I mean? about, you know, being authentic. Because they're constantly talking about, you know, right. making this money and, and doing these gangsta things. I mean, or I think it also depends on it, like, what point in their career they are. Like, Young Thug. Young and, Thug, for instance, is he's massive. Pretty, yeah, he's mm-hmm. pretty far in his career. So, like, I feel like him going to jail Which now. is even more sad. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's kind of, like, sad and not right valid. But, like... Lil Wayne still went valid to, when when Lil Wayne I mean, went to valid, jail, but not like validated, I guess. Like, like I mean, Lil Wayne was him. at the top when he went to prison. <clears throat> True, but yeah. Hmm. yeah, I don't know. You know, I, I'm just, I, I just, I mean, he put out a whole album that he recorded while he was in prison, yeah, that's the <laughs> which is like, like I don't know how you were able to do that, but all right, he was still like <laughs> hard. Well, okay, do you like, remember that scene? Do, do you guys watch Trailer Park Boys? 
Not really. <sighs> okay, never mind. I watch. I, I mean, I've seen m- most of it, but I've never like watched. There's this. Either. There's a scene where J Rock is um, talking shit to police because he wants to get a good photo for his cover album for his next rap album, and <laughs> he ends up punching the cop, and they get a really good picture of it, and he ends up going to prison for that. So okay, I do remember that. that reminds that reminds me is how much of it is actually them serving time versus you know something to up their career give them that validity you know what i mean and that's the thing is like at at what point are i mean i guess if you like caught like a murder case or something like then your uh your uh promotability is probably not going to be good yeah, but, murder's bad. But something like what they're going to, you know, what what they're under investigation for, which is basically money laundering, from my understanding, uh, you know, like that's not really something that is unmarketable anymore. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, we finally got some money, so like we just didn't really do what we were supposed to do with it and hid some of it. And I think some of I think I think some of us can understand that. You know, like, especially if you come from a place where you don't see really any money living off of government checks and everything, like, you can kind of see their side. Not saying it's right, you're saying you can kind of see their side of it. I mean, what's right and wrong is relative. Morals, folks. There's this really great quote. I can't remember what it is, but it's something like how um, rich, rich people and poor, rich people are still the same, or something like that. I don't know. I can't remember. I think you can edit. Before. You can edit this out. I think it started yeah. a huge argument. <laughs> it did. <laughs> yeah. Because I was I oh, I was reading Ray Bradbury. That's why. That's where it came from. Yeah, I I <laughs> vaguely remember the quote. Yeah, it was really great. Yeah. Anyway, we'll that's edit what that happens out. when you smoke. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, we could use a smoke ourselves. I don't. Did you bring the blunt up? Ooh, hey! I sure did not. Look at that. I All right. We will do some bantering, folks. But yep. B R B. Light banter. All right. You know, you guys, guys said that um, your summer just started. Pfft, my summer fucking started like two months ago. It's <laughs> hot as fuck here. It's uh, it's cooling down this week. It rained today. Yeah, but it's when it gets hot, storm. It gets uh, humid. I forgot how humid it is here. It's also very humid here. Yeah, I mean, it just sucks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm looking up that quote because I have to know what it is. Rich, rich people. Poor, rich people. (laughs) It did spark a huge argument. That's so funny. find it i can't either but um i started reading another classic the picture of dorian gray it's so funny because dorian is such a pompous little asshole he reminds me of like all of the men in Bridgerton, just how they're just so posh and, you know, oh, dirt, no. You know, just very, and they call themselves dandies, if that helps. <laughs> um, it's just so funny because he's just like, I won't do it. You know, he's so dramatic about everything. <sighs> it's like him starting to lose his soul, I think. So... 
he chooses to do bad things and like he <laughs> he does things um that hurt other people and he has no feelings whatsoever about it he's just like mm, i should feel bad about this but i don't you know he's just a little white prick who's I mean, very rich sounds has like a- psychopath to me yeah he is sociopath or psychopath no he's definitely a psychopath and he's only 17 (laughs) so everything in the show uh, i forgot what it's called but it's like that victorian era it was a showtime show fuck what was it called oh penny dreadful yes i've seen it it's so good um, not, not that, yeah, not that Dorian Gray. He's, the one in the book is way more pompous. Hmm. And quite a prude. Huh. He's not a slut. Well, at least not yet. What a so. I'm only halfway through. So hey guys, I think welcome I tried back. Penny Dreadful once and didn't enjoy it. I liked it. You got to be into that genre. Exactly. That's true. Um, how did you like feel about Stranger Things? Everybody <coughs> finish it. I'm I finished it. I, I loved it. I thought this was the last season. That's what I thought. It is. It is the last season. They're finishing it July 1st. The last three episodes come out. Mm -hmm. I saw two episodes talking about season five, what they're going to do for season five. You know, I also heard that five. What? I also heard that there will be a five, but I was like, no, they said the this is the fourth and final season. But I've heard them say that every season. Hmm. I don't know. Yes, we'll see. Yeah. Uh, but have you guys finished it? Or I know, yeah. Jess, you said... Yes. You, okay, good. We finished it today. Nice. What do we think overall? What do we think overall? Overall, I like it. It's mm-hmm. <laughs> it's a little weird that they're all adults now. Yeah. But yeah. yeah, for sure. Especially, like, Steve and, like, uh, mm-hmm. Nancy and Jonathan, like... All yeah. those guys, they're, like, clearly in their 20s now. <laughs> Jonathan looks like a crackhead this season. <laughs> yeah. He's kind of always had that, though. Yeah. Uh, super creepy look to him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, they made him a stoner, and he's just... Yeah. Yeah. Not... Argyle. He sh- yeah. <laughs> Argyle's <laughs> fucking hilarious, though. I like him. Yeah. Like, he cracks me up. That scene where Joyce is telling him he's... She's going to Alaska, and he's, like, so baked. He's like, wait, what? Yep. I've totally had that conversation so many times. Yeah. Like, I was like, I yes, I get it. And his mom was like, are you okay? Seriously, so concerned. That was right. so funny. And then Murray was just there, and he's just like, oh, I get it. I know yeah. <laughs> yeah. I guess what I was most disappointed about is I thought there would be more time with like the full group but it's been like disconnected entirely yeah. Well, so far. yeah agreed yeah don't worry they'll connect soon yeah but oh, of there's course. only the part two is only two episodes i thought it was three well it's it two episodes three. but they're like 90 plus minutes each yeah yeah but i mean that's still just one episode. I was like, well, then why don't you just <laughs> chop it up? Like, why is it, why do you do that? Like, I just don't <laughs> get that. Like, I don't get it. I, it's it's almost like they just want every single episode to be, like, its own, like, uh, like short film. Yeah. Supposedly, Which each is episode fine. cost a minimum of $30 million this last oh, season. Oh, wow. Really? Yeah. A lot of makeup. Yeah, for sure. Well, I get shit. it. Uh, a lot of like on location shooting as well, which always costs a lot of money. Um, yeah. So yeah, spoilers like ahead, you guys. Like if yeah, you have guys, not yeah. finished, you guys, if you have not finished it, um, or you're if you want to watch it at some point, you're, a, you're well, about to be fucked because we're gonna turn ruin this it. off right yeah. now. 
by the time this episode Fast comes forward. out, I'm pretty sure it's going to be. Well, either way, you know, either know. way, you never know. July you 1st. never know. Um, so spoilers, definitely spoilers. I have so many questions. Um, definitely a lot yeah. of questions. Definitely Here's more something. questions than than answers. Oh, oh yeah, for sure. It's like we get deeper in and we think we understand and we don't know shit. Oh, they but. twisted us. Yeah. Uh, so Especially that thing. last episode. Yeah. Yes. I, he, here's here's what's up. The whole time, Cassandra and I were like, Vecna's kind of a shitty fucking monster. Like, we don't, <laughs> like, like it, it, it just, it was weird to jump from Mind Flayer where it's, there's no, like, voice, there's no, like, human connection to a thing they personify to it. all of a sudden yeah now now it's personified it's a person who has these thoughts and capabilities of like seeing you know your deepest uh insecurities i guess so to speak um mm-hmm. but yeah. but then at the end boom, the last episode yeah. you're like ah all right, I fucking buy it. I'm in. 100%. I'm <laughs> like, oh, okay, yeah, that's... that's so nice. this is my first question. First question. So L at the end um, sends him to the upside down, right? Right. Right. She opened was it that, for the first time. Okay, thank you. That was my question. Because I was like, yeah, is that I, is that her actually opening? Like, is that that? I, that, is that, what, that is? what I got from it when she destroyed him, it, like, turned... Like it, him being destroyed opened it. No, it looked like it like engulfed him. Like she opened well, it around she, like, him. She disappeared and... first, and then it appeared. So that that's... was my question. So like, this is yeah, did, this is a did question. Did L create that or was yeah? That... that see, that was my or, yeah. or was it or was that already there and she just like banished him to right and like opened that. the portal like right right. I don't know. And also. You know, that guy, number one, he hated Papa the most. How did he yeah. not ensure that he died? Can you know what I mean? Talk, yeah. Can we talk about how good Alexander Skarsgård is? Like, oh, my God. That's not Alexander Skarsgård. Um, not what I read. Alexander Skarsgård is not in Stranger Things, nor is Bill Skarsgård or any Skarsgård. That's literally not what I read yesterday because I looked it up. I literally typed it in and it said it was at he. They were uh, Alexander Skarsgård was added to the cast. Maybe for the second parts, but the guy who plays number one is Jamie Campbell Bower. Like he's in other stuff. That's not a Skarsgård. He, like he was in Sweeney he Todd. Like he was. Face. He yeah, he was. No, he's not. He was in Sweeney Todd. He was in um, the Twilight series. No, Michael, you're wrong. I'm well, I looked it up wrong. before. You, I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm saying I looked it up. Whatever information I got was wrong. <laughs> you can't believe everything you read on the internet, Michael. Right, but I'm saying I I got it from the internet and I read wrong. Excuse and me. I, just I also way, he's fantastic. Are we but, just gonna skip past the fact that? Why was L his favorite? Like that didn't make any sense either. Was it because he knows how strong she was? How did he get his yeah, powers? Why did sense. he kill his parents? I don't understand. He explained all of it in the last episode. I think you need to rewatch it. Yeah, yeah he maybe did. I do. He he didn't like how he didn't like the like the fakeness of the world. Yeah, he didn't like how structured everything was all the time. He didn't like rules. That's why they always saw the clocks because he hated his first like thing as a kid was him like like fucking with the clock and making it like spin around and shit and he like he hated time because it was too structured like he hated all of that so that's why he like was like done with it and then he talked about his mom like having thoughts of like wanting to end it so he was like I put it out of her misery yeah so they talk he talked about how he could infiltrate when their he's memories talking to L, yeah. In the last scene. And in the they're very, having like the very and, last and scene. it's also like simultaneously the scenes when uh Nancy is walking through uh-huh. right in the in yep. the, the house yeah. the, in, in, in the upside down. And uh Yeah, so he explains that he figures out that he can he has this capability and he just works on getting them stronger and stronger. 
and then he figures out that he can like see inside people's like memories Mm -hmm. and then he finds out that his parents are also playing this game because they've done these terrible things you know and they're just hiding all these terrible things that they've done from the world so he wants to cleanse like the world of like their like Mm -hmm. evils that they've committed whoa that's like the his whole mo so then, like, he kills his mom and his sister, tries to kill his dad, but then he gets caught by Papa, and and he's like, Papa couldn't control him, so then and he... he put that chip in his brain. Yeah, okay. And that dampened him, right? I mean, it seemed like he couldn't use his powers at all. It was like yeah. control, because remember, he kept saying, like, all Papa wants is control. Yeah. It's all about right. control here. So and that was his way to control. And life. he was trying to control L, right? Oh. Right. He, like he was trying to convince yeah, her. Yeah, because I was like, what is his connection what, with her? Yeah. He like, so he saw he how care? strong she was. Like yeah. he could he could sense it. Mm. He thought he I feel like he like could relate to her. So he was like, Cool, like she's gonna be like all about this. And when she like wasn't, he was like, What the fuck? Like and yeah. felt like betrayed. And like that's yeah, why exactly. he got so angry. Because he was like, I finally found someone that like will get me and understand me, and, and she, she did. and she did, but was like, no, not cool, man. Yeah, like, so like, did, didn't uh, <laughs> understand him morally, but understood him as a person. Right. I feel yeah. like actual like season one L would have gone along with it. Like, <laughs> Probably. She's changed, man. She's changed. You know, and I, I find that so funny those, that those like he's one and good. she's one one. Yeah, like exactly. That's yep. Crazy. That's man. not that's not nothing. That's not an accident. Yeah. Like as soon as he was talking about number 1 to her, I was like, "Um, he I think he's number 1." Yeah. But then but I w- but I was like, "No, no, let's just keep watching." So I didn't <laughs> I didn't I mean, all you buy do too much into it. That but I was like, "Oh, that's something there that he said that was, something yep. about number 1." I was like, "Hmm." Uh-huh. That was my theory. I was like, "He's number 1." Yeah, she but did I did say not that. not think anything about him Vecna, Vecna. right yeah. like yeah. what the fuck yeah that was yeah. crazy like that connection that was nuts. It, it connects the world to yeah like, it, it, the conne- whole it connects the upside down yeah. to the the real world in a way that's that we haven't seen Full before circle. so we're mm-hmm. just like whole like as an audience member you're just like holy shit like mm-hmm. there's like an actual it all, like, connection was coming to, like the last puzzle pieces falling yeah. into place yeah yeah, yeah, very that well was, done. Yeah. One complaint, Hopper should have been out of Russia way sooner. Yeah. I totally agree with that. Like, yeah. uh, they kept dragging that story yeah. on yeah, I thought... and on, dude. I, thought... I was like... It was like it the was same fine. scene every time. Like, the yeah. initial yeah. setup, like, get the money, go out there, pay the ransom, get them out. Right. That should have just yeah. been it. And you know what? It was kind of nice to get that little bit of a twist where he had to go back. But then, like, the whole story of, like... I don't think it would have been as satisfying. You know what I mean? Like, him hugging Joyce. She found him in the prison after he went through all of this bullshit just to get to her. Like, that's what the whole drama was. But I I get it. But it went on for so long that I didn't even care about that at that point. (laughs) We were. I would say when they were in the jail cell was when I thought it took so long I because agree. it was like the last two episodes was just almost the same scene every time they went back to Hopper storyline. Mm-hmm. It was just yeah. them waiting around. You know they to filmed all that the same monster. day. <laughs> yeah, right. Like, oh, another scene. Now we're gonna eat, waiting to kill the monster. Oh, now we got more info on waiting on the mo- like. It was just. <laughs> it was like Jesus Christ. Just fucking get get it over with. Yeah. Yeah, it know. was it, it was like uh like the twist of like oh they're going to feed us like that wasn't needed. We didn't like that scene could have been cut. Like we don't like I don't well, know. The the only reason why that made sense was because Hopper said what he said. With that but no, that could have been in the jail got, cell. He also got the liquor bottle from that piece. Yeah, true, true, true. Uh, yeah. Okay, you're you're right, but no, I know he didn't. He got it uh, from the guard. He got it off the guard after the. No, he got the, the lighter from the guard. Yeah. Oh, I thought he got the guard both to of get them. The lighter. All right, I thought he got both of them from the guard. He, no, he was immediately he takes. I, he was drinking. Bed. You're right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Fair enough. Still though, that was a long ass scene for <laughs> you know 
It could have mm-hmm. been cut like shorter. Also, also what the fuck did? Yeah, what the fuck did Will draw for Mike? No one knows yet. Do you think it was his penis? <laughs> Mike's <Definitely> penis? <laughs> some sort of no. Will's <laughs> Will penis. drew a penis. Drew a drew a picture of Mike's penis. Gives it to Mike. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's Mike's penis and Will's penis coming together. Oh, it's, making uh, an H. Like the Da Vinci. Yeah. The penises. Penis. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> what, do you think, uh, what do you think Eric uh, found under Lucas's bed? Uh, sticky oh, yeah, porn mags. Funny. Yeah, it's got to be something like that. Yeah, for sure. No, it's something it's be, we all... It's something weird. Like... Or like a porn pizza. makes the most sense. Uh, obviously, that's where everybody's head's gonna go is porn, you know. Or what? Or maybe it's like, you know, like gay, gay porn or, or what's the anime porn I mean, called? You still said porn. <laughs> okay. Hentai. Yeah. 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 And in either way, it's not still porn. porn. It's specific porn. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's I'm thinking it's specific porn. No, it's like, a trunk, a trunk uh, case full of his. Drag alter case? ego. Or the <laughs> oh, I like that. I like that more. That's what okay. it is at the like the very last episode. <laughs> He's just like walking around in drag. The whole hour and a half last episode is just a drag show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It doesn't even resolve. You're just left with the drag show. Are we not going to talk about the fact that this season is basically Freddy Krueger? Yes. yes. That was the very you. first thing we said. Thank you. As soon as Vecna started, we were like, what is this? Some weird Freddy yes, Krueger shit? Exactly. And they had Freddy Krueger in it. He was, yeah. uh-huh. yeah. Yeah. was the dad. I'll say, I'll say this, though. They always have some sort of like tribute to like that era of like right. 80s kind of yeah. pop culture. So like, yeah. but it was very on the nose this time. Very on the nose. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he like, even said something about Freddy Krueger at some point. Yeah, yeah. Someone, I think Steve <laughs> says it or some, uh, someone. Uh, no. Uh, yeah, uh, I can't think. <laughs> Dustin says it. <laughs> Dustin says it uh, to uh, Wheeler's youngest daughter or youngest sister, Holly, like six year old Holly. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. And and they're like, "What the hell, man?" <laughs> like, <laughs> it's it's a yeah. movie like a Freddy Krueger. Yeah. yeah. Very it was, good. Yeah, it was very very good. They did a very good I, job. I completely devoured it. it. Like, I just, shh, we you know what too. I mean? Yeah. It was we so good. It. What day? Wednesday? Wednesday, it was a rainy day, and we both were like, fuck it, we're not going to go to work I today. didn't have to work. <laughs> totally, Let man. me just be clear. I didn't have to work all Okay, Wednesday. I was like, fuck it, I'm not going to go to work today. I'll work from home, which I yeah. did, boss, if you're watching. <laughs> um and yeah but it was a rainy day i work at a roofing company so you know that that checks oh, out there you go okay so uh well, yeah we just were like you know what it's a rainy day let's fucking get into this because this just came out let's go yeah. and, we watched, and we were we just fucking glued to the tv the i whole mean i will the say episode all day. Night, or this morning yeah. but yeah yeah you know max knowing that she was gonna die i would not have handled it as cool that as was she did, intense, because and, like, I would have so been a baby, and she was like, yeah. "I can do this, I mom." Here's your letter. Day. But she was like, like she was already kind of checked out because of what she yeah. saw with her brother, and was just like so traumatized yeah. that she was like, "What the fuck?" Yeah, so but I think she's like, like "Okay, I guess whatever." Like her realizing that like they really wanted to like save her, yeah. like that's the only reason why she got out. Yeah. Not because yeah. they wanted to save her, but her realizing that they mm-hmm. really wanted her in their and lives. She was like, oh, hey, uh, these are my friends. Like, no. they're yeah. calling it's, my they name. They do care. Yeah. Kate Bush. Kate Nash. And and Kate Bush. <laughs> Have you guys heard the placebo version of that song, Running Up That Hill? Running Up the Hill? No. I've heard. Okay. It's, it's a very good, good song, though. <laughs> it's catchy. I've never heard it. Placebos really? is... More, I like I'm pretty sure more better. better. <laughs> it's more, more better. Didn't they? I they played that. Uh, I forgot what episode, but in the last season of the OC. <gasps> See, I fucking Eric. hated the OC. So <laughs> I, love that show. I think I watched one episode and I was like, eh, it's not for me. 
I don't think I think the kids will still try every once in a while. I think it's the song right? playing when Marissa dies around. Oh! Uh, which Kate Kate Bush's no version? Way. They, no, I don't believe you, Eric. I don't I'm believe pretty sure that they played It might that. not be no. Kate Bush's version, but it's a version of that song. They When she died in the car crash? The like that whole montage no. sequence. I mean, it's been over a decade since I've seen what it. Mon- what montage? Eric, do you have a beard? Like, it's a goat. A goatee? Get a goatee. Have you always had that? No, I shaved. I got sideburns too. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I'm afraid you may have hippies. <laughs> um, In your sideburns. You might be right. You might be right, Eric. I'm figuring out what I want to do with my uh, facial hair. I'm cool. always right, Cassandra. I've never been wrong. <laughs> Excuse me, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> so formal. Your, your Highness. Uh, uh, so, um, so I got a funny story. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, <clears throat> I don't know if you guys are going to believe it, but I swear to God, it's 100% true. I don't believe it. So, you're swearing to yourself, okay? Yeah. 60% of That's the time, believable. it works <laughs> every time. So, is that band rehearsal last night? <clears throat> I wanna be sedated. There's more than just that song, Jess. <laughs> That's the only song. Uh, it's not even their biggest one. So, the blitz bleep bop. Anyway, <laughs> we're uh, jamming at the drummer's house. You weren't jamming, you were playing the Ramones. Jamming. That's Mom. different. Jamming is jammin playing on a whatever doo you're doo feeling doo. and just like <laughs> going with it. Yeah, playing the Ramones would. is playing the Ramones. No, we have like a set list and we would just yell out songs that we felt like playing and then we play them. Yeah, that's jammin. not jamming. Jamming That's Ramones. band practice for the no, Ramones. It was jamming <laughs> slash band practice. Jamming. Okay, we so, also all right, jammed a bit. All right, so you continue. are playing the Ramones. <clears throat> and... Yeah, some of our, uh, my drummer's family members start showing up. Cool. Sister, his daughter. What? Sister's friend. Sister's daughter. Sister's daughter. His sister. His Don't daughter. call me daughter. His daughter's like our age. And she's 20. She's so she hot. Said, and Eric's trying to get in them get pants. It. Get no, it. No, man. <clears throat> That's weird. Eric! <laughs> But That's weird. She's so I introduced myself ugly. to his sister, As? and she like left to go to the store and came deal. back, and she couldn't remember my name. She thought my name was Michael. She's like Michael, right? And oh I like, shit! <clears throat> I was like, no, Eric. And she's like, <laughs> you're like Eric, Eric. Eric my okay. name's whatever you want it to be, baby. But no, she <laughs> she to help her remember my name. I like to party. She. <laughs> Called me Uncle Eric. Oh, on her own. No. <laughs> on her own. <laughs> Eric, did you just jizz all fucking over <laughs> yeah, her? No. Like, I, <laughs> laughed, <laughs> I laughed so hard. I laughed so hard, but no one knew what I was laughing about. And I couldn't explain it. No one would get it. So I just laughed <laughs> to myself. By laugh, you mean jizz all <laughs> over mm-hmm. her. She's like, oh my God. This is exactly what I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool she called you uncle later Eric, on uncle Eric. later on in oh the night God, i was talking to the guitarist and we were just like fucking around i was like you remember in school we had to do like those introductions you had to say like an adjective that begins with the first letter of your name and then your name it's like that was always yeah. hard for me and i was like i could never think of any adjectives that describe me and he's like will you say adjective again <laughs> <laughs> adjective no, that's not how you that's said not it. How you said it a second you said, ago. I can't even do it the way you said it a second ago. Adjective. Yeah. Adge- ab- abjective. You like, yeah, it was mm-hmm. weird. Abjective. abjective. Sorry, go ahead. Objective. Objective. You Say get all the good ones, adjective. Eric. Sorry. You get Sorry. you get energized, energetic, erect. <laughs> Moist. I got yeah, hard arms all the time. Going through puberty. And like second grade. <laughs> 
but ecstatic, the guitar is like, excited. <coughs> and he's like easy. Estupido. Yeah, there you go. Easier. <laughs> And then, studio. Yeah, and then <laughs> then I got on to Easy. So like, oh uh, no, you cannot be Easy. My nicknames are coming. Hit your switches, you know. I put the energy out there, and they're they're happening. Oh they're, man, they're happening. You can. <laughs> what own. about well, I Energetic E? That was a good day for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got called Michael, which is like you know. <laughs> that was the worst <laughs> one. Name. Every man's dream. The worst. <laughs> Everybody wants to be a Michael. That's right. What are the chances, though, Uncle Eric? In a what world full of Michaels, be a Jessica. <laughs> um, yeah, Uncle Eric. Who's that girl? And Easy. <laughs> Who's that girl? It's Eric. It's Easy, baby. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you. That's like your your stand up name. <laughs> Next up. Coming to you from the grand old rapids themselves. It's Easy E. Put your hands together for Easy E. And everybody. everybody's like, he's not dead? Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> Holy shit! They're like, Hitting boo, switches you starts. ain't who I thought you were. Second time Except I referenced it's it. Not, it's not like Easy E. It's E Z E. Like SZA. Yeah. <laughs> Easy E, everybody, and that's like SZA. Put your hands Boo. together. E G E, SZA, parentheses. <laughs> They're like, what, SZA? <laughs> <coughs> like, sorry, guys, this is my first time hosting. I do not know how to do it. M C E Z E. And uh, Easy E, Uncle Eric, everybody. <laughs> Uncle Eric. So wait, she just came up with Uncle Eric on her own? What is she crazy? Yeah, what the I'm, fuck? I'm she's like she our has, age. She what? Has she has a thing she for think, Uncle Eric. Yeah, she's got a thing for her uncle. She's I like, think. oh, your name's Eric. My uncle's name is Eric. Can Ooh. I call you Uncle? And I Eric? love him. <laughs> you, you look just like him. No, she wasn't. <laughs> you look just, there's no way. <laughs> I'm just. There's no way this 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 woman is black. <laughs> Zero chance. Wow. Zero chance. There's Rude no way boy. there's more than one black guy in a Ramones cover band. Zero <laughs> chance. That's not possible. Eric. Is it? Yeah, you're right. Oh, <laughs> come on. They're Mexican. <laughs> oh. Oh. Hey, I like that. I like that. Ramono. Everybody's wrong. I didn't say I didn't say she was white, just to be clear. <laughs> I just said she wasn't black. <laughs> I'm in the clear. <laughs> Can't cancel me. Uh, everybody wow. cancel Michael. Hashtag cancel Michael and Uncle Eric. <laughs> Hashtag, Hashtag cancel party. Uncle Eric. Hashtag. Hashtag. I want to be sedated. So uh, this next segment is... Um, when we play mash, oh, oh yeah, and uh, we didn't do it. Well, we'll I didn't do it, do right it either. Now. I forgot. It's it's easy peasy lemon squeezy. Oh, bad bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, I don't know about that. That's a great one. What are you talking about? <clears throat> Did that fit there? Yeah. <laughs> Because we don't have it, so it's not a segment if you don't have it. So does go to bed, bitch. Does someone have a piece of paper? Boom. Yes. And okay. a pen. <laughs> also, yes. <laughs> they can't hand it to you. I'm not trying to drink over. Well, someone will need to volunteer to be the scribe. The scribe. Well, I already have the paper here. All right, so it's decided. He t- so he's decided. It's decided. I need to get that I'm as a gonna drop. Say, a I'm good gonna say I'm yes. gonna say all the generic ones that it was, but I think it would be most fun to most create fun. our own for ourselves because I think we yeah. are um, alternative. <laughs> so, um, at the top though, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> at the top is Mash M A S H, and that stands for Mansion Apartment Shack house <laughs> it also stands yeah, it for military stuff that i don't know 
All right. <laughs> if you're going to be a smartass, at least be a good smartass. <laughs> it's also a show, and it was funny. I knew. Yeah. Yeah. It's All right. So something hospital. Kind of potato. The generic ones are, and it's like it's like four, three to four, for each category, and the categories are spouse, job, number of kids, gross. I don't. I spell oh, spouse. I don't think you're supposed, type of car. I don't think you're supposed to know. The categories like i think it's no you right. are she no name? you have no. to know because you, you have to you fill it pick. out yeah yeah so so, so not, i feel like those are a little car. generic for our group of folks here tonight so the way we did it it was like a trick like they've come up to you and you'd be like all right you gotta name four people of it's not so fuck so. one kill one marry one <clears throat> well it no, was no, but then they write them down and they're like, all right, now you got to name. No, you're right. You're right, number. Eric. They don't. You don't know which which one it's for or anything like that. It was just like name four people, with like no yeah. context. And yeah, but like, I still need to know what the categories are. Although I don't know, we played it. I, we played it both, between... Eric, because we also played it where you didn't know. I mean, yeah, okay, I guess. You... I mean, after you know, a after while, you should pick, know how to play. You it. would pick three. You would pick three, like three crushes, and then. Your friend would pick the fourth, and Instead it would be crushes, like some pick drugs. Drugs is a good one. Oh, write down drugs. So cross out spouse. Put drugs. <laughs> That's what Michael said. Drugs. I don't think I said spouse, did I? Perfect. I don't know. I don't remember what I said. You said instead of spouses, can I trade it out for drugs? There you go. Oh, okay. Instead, I meant kids. Trade it out for drugs. How about we kids should. instead? Trade out. Trade out kids. No, no, we're keeping it. I don't it. want also, kids, all right? Zero I don't kids. either, but we're allowed. keeping it. We should switch you wanna keep kids? spouse. No, I don't want to do number kids. of I'd dogs do instead. Drugs. Number of drugs. How about number of pets? Oh, let me get her. <laughs> number of instead pets. Instead of kids, number of pets. Number okay. of cats. So I have and drugs, job, drugs. number of pets, car. Mm -hmm. Pets is ambiguous. I like it. And <laughs> any other categories? Wasn't I it want like the color? Snakes. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see if I can find another. Um, wasn't it like color of your house or color of your car? I think it was both. Like you had to pick a color yeah. twice: house and car. You want to do that? City you live in, if you want to. City. Do that. Good. Um. <laughs> I love that drop. <laughs> so good. I oh, love so Danny DeVito. <laughs> Danny DeVito deserves all the flowers in the world. That's pretty good. That's a good amount of categories, I'd say. Okay, drugs, job, number of pets, car, and city. That's five. And house or uh, living. Living place. <laughs> That's what MASH is. Yeah. We'll say, uh, for the drugs, we'll say you're addicted to. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, who goes no, first? No, that's stupid. I don't know. All right, Eric, you're up. Uncle Eric. Okay, <laughs> what do I do? Oh, so you um, got a name, name for... Name four cities. Four cities? At, at okay. random. <laughs> at random. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. I think it's you name three, and then we all choose name the one. fourth. Okay. Yeah, okay. for each category. Okay, right. Eric, you, <coughs> you choose a city. Oh, wow. Um, three cities, Eric. Where'd he go? One. Was, city oh, one. Copenhagen. Copenhagen, Denmark. Copenhagen. Ooh. I can't spell. Eric, um, two. Two. Vancouver. Two. Ooh, Eric, fuck the U.S. Eric, three, three, three. Um. Eric. Three. Uh, Honolulu. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I can't spell Honolulu. Okay, uh, Michael. 
Michael, Michael Cassandra. Oh. We got to do a fourth one. Uh, let's go Anchorage, Alaska. Dallas. Mm. I'm thinking Wait, are you guys like, playing together? Uh, I'm thinking like a Jupiter, We're picking one for Florida. you. Oh. Or, uh, Ooh. or a, like let's pick uh let's shit, let's Alabama. pick uh yeah somewhere in Alabama uh Birmingham <laughs> Bur- yeah Birmingham Alabama because right, we want Eric. Eric to die apparently uh, <laughs> Eric you gotta pick know three cars <laughs> the birthplace of civil rights it is Boom. yeah Indiana is the birthplace of the KKK. <laughs> <laughs> That's Michael is sense. very proud of that fact. <laughs> <laughs> Most people from Indiana are. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> um, cars. Uh, Pick your cars. cars. Top three. Top three. Car a, number one is. A Ferrari. Woohoo! Ferrari number two is. A black lotus. I don't know Bunch what that of lookers is. and cocaine. <laughs> um, one more, Eric. Um, a razor scooter. Whack. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. I was thinking the shit mobile. I was thinking like a 1992 Toyota Corolla. I was thinking a PT Cruiser or smart car. <laughs> I, like, or a I like PT Cruiser. PT Cruiser. PT Cruiser. 2000 and fu- 2002. 2000 and fuck. 2000 and <laughs> fucking two. With the wood <laughs> on it. Fuck. With the wooden yeah, pail. It's got the fuck- yeah, exactly. Yes, yes. But, but the, but the bottom's kind of rusted. Junk. You know, like the, the, the skirt, junk. if you call it that. <laughs> it's like it's not PT far off. Cruiser. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so we have number of the He paid thirty thousand dollars <laughs> for it. Brand new. <laughs> is right Still making payments out. on it. He's like, <laughs> he's like, I need to get that. I need one of those. <laughs> he's like, I fucking love that wood on that shit. <laughs> it reminds me of my parents' one. station wagon in <laughs> miniature form. Together. God, I hated it. <laughs> it is it's it's just a tiny station wagon. Eric, <laughs> give me three numbers. Uh, sixty-nine. Four twenty. And thirteen. All right, all right, Michael Cassandra, give me a number. Um, any number. I three million. Oh damn! I don't know. For Eric, I need a job. I need a job from you. I need three jobs. Fluffer. Okay. (laughs) Fluffer. (coughs) Um, President of the United States of America. Oh, I like that. (laughs) Anarchy. He's like, I'm no longer president. One more, one more. Stay at home, dad. The dream. <laughs> All right, Michael Cassandra, well, I need one job. Um, Telemarketer. C- CEO. CEO of an oil company. <laughs> oh <my goodness>. What? <laughs> what about a hooker? Bunch of hookers and cocaine. There you go. <laughs> hooker. Hooker is good. Too. Yeah. No, I was okay. saying that's what you get if you're a CEO of an oil company. Yeah. <laughs> you just get a bunch of hookers and no game. True. 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 Eric, I need three drugs from you. Three drugs. Bring them. Acid. Acid. Cocaine. Cocaine and hookers and hoes. <laughs> exactly. Weed. Weed. All right, Michael Cassandra, I need one drug from you. Molly. Molly. All right. It's filled. Now, when I was a kid and we did this, it was tell me when to stop, and I would make ticks until you told me to stop, and that would be the amount of times I would cross things out. Mm. Yep, that's how we did it. I too. always did it. You chose Whoa. a number. Yeah, you chose that many times. No. So that's I'm going to make ticks. <laughs> okay, so fuck Indiana and Michigan, I guess, and we're going no. with Illinois and fucking. You don't know. Basically, you Iowa, don't know. let's be honest. 
I love that we're all it. from the Midwest. It's great. Okay, here I go. Midwest Eric, kids. tell me when to stop. Oh, I can't even see. Stop. Yeah, come on. You gotta tell. Him. Okay. Put wait, it up in wait. front of the camera. Jeez. I like I like the number version better. Four. So then you have to go through and you have to mark off every that, fourth one. I know, but until that's you ha- only have one left in each category. It doesn't matter if it's uneven. You'll still, you'll just keep going until. All right. Until well, then I can tell the you. Ones. I can tell you what it is then, because it's the first of all the categories. No, 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 no. You yeah. tick off. You tick off. If it's you go every one, two, three, one. done. So that one's not it. You go one, two, three. No, not I it. know how to one. do it, but I'm telling you that since we have four in every category, the last one's gonna be knocked oh, off yeah, every cause, time because the number's four. All right, redo it. Redo All it, because right. that's not going to be fun. Redo it. it Eric, uh, Eric. Yeah, you got to do would, it way more times I would times do than five, that. 5 to 11. Okay, Eric, here I go. I'm starting to tick. And I'm going to do I've started. <laughs> I've started. Tell me when. Yeah. Eric, this is going to take me a long time if you thing? keep. Yeah. Now. Okay. 12. No, wait. Wow. 17. Whoa, 17. 17. <laughs> All right, hold on. This is going to take me a while. Hold All right, she's going to take a second. I'm going to go Light banter. Uh, I gotta grab get something a real quick. Refill. Same. Don't reveal anything. We're going to have a quickie. <laughs> Dead air. <laughs> Jess is counting. 9, 10, down. 11, 12, 15, 16, 17. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. You know, th- do you see the shit that they put me through? I have to take hold of everything. So, one, two, three, four, five, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Oh, by the with money. I hope it's good. I know what you're driving. Is it good? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen. Oh, I know what your job is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 1, 2, <laughs> 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, oh shit. <laughs> You're supposed to not 12, show 13, emotion 14, as a 15, judge. You're supposed to be impartial. 16, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Ah! Oh. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Ah! Oh. Do we have it yet? Are we are we there? No, she's the no, worst counter. She reacts 13, 14, 15, to everyone. She's supposed to natural oh! emotion. Be impartial. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay, I have it. Woo! <laughs> Eric, is... Eric's wife coming at you. Eric, are you ready? Yeah. Eric, you are going to live in a mansion. Oh, fuck yeah, parties. You're addicted to weed. 
You oh, yeah. are a fluffer <laughs> with 13 <laughs> pets who drives a black lotus and lives in Birmingham. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, that was almost Almost good. nailed it. <laughs> almost. See, we need to get funnier things. We need that to get funnier good. things. That was pretty good. All right, we'll, uh, we'll step it up each time. Okay. Who's next? Michael? Michael. All right. Hold on. We have drugs. We have what was it? Bugs. <laughs> we have what kind of bugs you want? <laughs> we have jobs, number of pets, the car you drive, the city you live in. Was are there any? Eric, can you imagine four hundred and twenty pets? <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> they better be ants. Pets mean Ew. personal sex toys, right? But yeah. <laughs> okay, Michael. I need. Right. I need I three cities. Lover. I need three cities for you. All right. And go one, two, three. No, don't think about it. Rome. Rome. Ooh. Where else? Singapore. Ooh. Singapore. Y'all Where else? One more. One more. One more. One more. One more. Michael. Rochester, New York. I don't know. He's okay, he's, funny. He's, he's Eric. Funny. He's a funny Eric guy. And Cassandra, All we right. have one to make up. I'm thinking um, West Palm Beach. Really? I could be a blue, I could be a beach guy. I was thinking uh, like El Paso, South Dakota, South Dakota. That's not a. That's it's just the whole state. state. <laughs> <laughs> the whole state. Paris, uh, France. You want to do Fargo? Yeah, Fargo. That's a good show. All right, Michael. Michael like, yeah, that show's mm, about my, my my place. Michael, I need three cars from you. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Cars. Cars. Corvette Stingray. Woo! Corvette Stingray. Hot toddy. Okay, one more. 69 more. Ford Mustang. 69. 69. Ford. Yeah. <laughs> and right, one more. Uh, Dukes of Hazard replica. <laughs> the General Lee. No, that's not it. <laughs> um, it is though. <laughs> we had this. That's we what had that this is. discussion, <laughs> but we did it. <laughs> Except it's slower. Right, it's like you guys. Gotta... No, it's not. It's not you that slow. It. You're out of your mind. It is A school bus. That's exactly what I was going to say, Cassandra. Get out. Oh, fuck yeah. I know. That's so funny. Yep. (laughs) All right, Um, Michael, I need three numbers from you. Numbers, guy. 23. 23. 35. 35. I knew it. (laughs) Eight. One. One. Okay, guys. What do we want to give them? Basketball players. <laughs> Forty-eight zero. To be zero. fair, thirty-five was my basketball number before Kevin Durant was negative a thing. ten. <laughs> Just to be seventh fair. grade, two thousand and seven, six. No, but I don't know six, years. Three, I don't know years. Four, I was in school. All right, but better. in seventh grade, <laughs> I mean, he made it popular, but I had it before him, <laughs> so I win. I get it. I was 13 before all these guys decided to be number 13. Wow. Eric pulling out the elderly card. Name five five professional athletes number 13 Mm -hmm. right now. Go. Uh, Right now? Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. This is your MASH session. Um, Well, I'm just saying. You're saying all these people are using it. I don't don't see a lot of people using it. Well, I'm saying. Paul George. Okay, Michael. Right, right. Going to we war. need we need three <laughs> jobs from you. Ready? Go. One. Three jobs. Music producer. Boom. Okay. I Number got two. Real estate agent. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Coming out of left field. That's right. Okay, one more. Professional backgammon player. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thought it would be B ball, but That's right. he threw a I threw wrench. out another B. Mm. Um, another okay, B. guys, what are we thinking? Thought I was going with the BB. I'm going with the BG. Um, antique guy. 
<laughs> Antique collector or uh, shop owner. Like a nostalgia shop? Like in Midnight Paris? But with Paris? antiques. 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 Uh, maybe like, like Garbage Man? A colonoscopist. Colonoscopiscopy. <laughs> colonoscopiscopalian. An Episcopalian um. colonoscopy. Deals with Ooh, how about a pastor? <laughs> Woo! Preacher? Jesus. I mean, y'all are picking. Beef jerky salesman. Oh, Eric! <laughs> Hit him where it hurts. You know what's Eric. funny? I was I about to write that Eric. down. I was like, that's a good one. <laughs> um, Please don't make me live my own a kitty, life. <laughs> a kitty cat counselor. <laughs> kitty cat counselor. The KKC. Uh, the receptionist at a cat hotel. Ooh, I love that. Cat and dog hotel. <laughs> hey, I like that. <coughs> All right, Just Michael, I need I... four drugs. Right. Three drugs. Go. Acid. Acid. One, Meth. two. Meth. Heroin. One more. I'll write horse. We're going hardcore, all right? Fentanyl. Um, is that what we want to use, fentanyl? I mean, fentanyl is just a harder heroin. Don't you want a completely different type of drug? Uh, uh, um, speed? Ayahuasca. Well, what's funny? What's funny? If he's addicted to ayahuasca. <laughs> that is funny. That's a problem. Uh, That's a real issue. Catnip. Catnip. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> All right, Michael, I'm going to start the ticks. You tell me when, and I am right. starting Tickety-tack. now. We got until this blunt's finished. Michael, the longer you go, <laughs> the longer it'll take me to count. <laughs> Pretty good weed. Okay, I'm going to do now. seven since you're being now. a dick. Now. <laughs> I'm saying right now. So I have to do it 55 times. Thank you. I said 50. No. <laughs> All right, cut it in half. No. Do seven. No, no. Then redo it and do it real. Do it real. All right. Cut it in half and then cut it into another <laughs> quarter. <laughs> well, Just 50 keep dividing until you get a number. Do you like lie. do like fourteen. Do like fourteen. Four, fourteen. Okay, fourteen. fourteen. Here I go. One, two. See, three, I got to choose four, my number. That's five, the way we six, did it in Indiana. Boom! Oh, that's how it's done. 12, 13, 14. Fuck this guy. <laughs> People email us. Let Burger us know King, if you want to have it your off way. Let's 10, go. 11, 12, 12, 13, 14. We've gotten rid of people before. Not afraid to do it. Eric's got the jokes. Check him out. Easy E, Uncle Eric. You know him. You love him. You can find me on Twitter. Psychedelic Mofo. Like my tweets. Because I'm funny. And then my jokes. It's spelled different than you think. I had a pretty good one the other day, but I can't remember what it was. I don't know. I hope you get oh, the I mansion. Said, um, <laughs> I said <laughs> the other day. I said the most unbelievable thing about Stranger Things is the amount of black people that are in small town Indiana. <laughs> in leadership roles. Yeah, that as well. <laughs> but it's just I was like, how are there so? I was like, I'm from like. So you're like that don't look like the area home. the area that is uh supposed to be like Hawkins I'm like 45 minutes from back home and I know that area there there are no black families in that <laughs> area if there are it's like one you know yeah, what I mean but you what weren't alive in the, in the 80s <clears throat> dude there's no town like <laughs> it's not a real town left her, like this yeah. place is cursed. I'm getting the fuck out of here. <laughs> that's see, that seems more accurate rather than 
it seems like as the seasons have gone on, more black people have shown up in this town. <laughs> I'm just saying. True. I just think it's crazy that Alexander Skarsgård <laughs> I thought it was him the whole time. <laughs> Fair enough. In the show. Well played. And his brother Bill played in the beginning. Also played in it as a okay, clown. I have it. <laughs> I have All right, it. here we go. All right. Oh What's up? Okay. okay, Michael. You're going to live in a shakaroni. No! In a shack- what have you done, Michael? What have you done? <laughs> you are addicted to horse. You are a professional backgammon player that has zero pets, but you drive the General Lee in Singapore. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Wow. A That's shack. Right. Well, it's General Lee in I'm not Singapore. I am <laughs> fucking <laughs> living it, bro. Good for I am you. Good for you. It, dude. Good for you. That's straight up like America. Just shooting up. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. basically what I do now. You shoot up? <laughs> I don't yeah. know. Are you addicted to? Did you say horse? Yeah. Yeah. yeah Why do you say horse? That's slang for heroin. I, I've never heard that in my life. The dragon. The horse. You've never heard that? No. Seriously? Swear to God. Uh, yeah. Chasing slang. dong. Using it's sling for, for horse. I mean, heroin. <laughs> okay, Addicted Cassandra. It's also Singapore. slang for At least I don't dick. have any pets. I don't have any pets <laughs> I got to take care of. You know what I mean? That's true. I'm living All in a your shack. heroin money goes to heroin. So. Exactly. It's not like I'm like, you know, not paying attention <laughs> to a pet. I'm on yeah. heroin. Maybe maybe yeah. I'm driving around too much in my General Lee while on heroin. <laughs> I'll give y'all that. But I'm in Singapore, which is supposed to be really pretty. I think it may be legal there. Who knows? Um, it probably is. All right, Cassandra, you're up Whoa. next. Do you have three drugs? All right. Um, One. Weed. weed. Uh, Xanax and cocaine. All right. Okay. All right, guys. One. Okay, we need one more for her. I'm thinking. Um, baby aspirin. <laughs> or ketamine. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> or fuck it, ketamine. You just I'm, fuck it. I'm thinking whippets. Whip it. Ooh. I like whip She's it. addicted to whippets. Whip it. Now whip it good. <laughs> whip it real good. That's what that song's about. <laughs> we should make that. <laughs> job. Ow! Uh, Cassandra, <laughs> job. We have three jobs. Um, uh, a uh, 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 turkey farmer. Okay. okay. <laughs> um, yeah. a, a seamstress. <laughs> and uh, a gardener. All landscaper right. uh, I like Gardner better drug okay. dealer um, let's give <laughs> her mule drug mule drug Ooh. mule I like it yeah. fingers uh, crossed okay Cassandra I need three numbers give me number first number two four six okay and then and then what are we gonna give her you guys eight <laughs> <laughs> All right, I love it. All right, Cassandra, I need th- numbs. T- three cars, coaches. Um, three cars. A, a black classic Beamer. I don't know what classic means, but classic. Uh, <laughs> uh, a uh, Jeep Wrangler, <laughs> and a um, uh, like a RV. In RV. Uh, okay. Hold on. Let me get her. Um, okay, guys. So what are we thinking about giving her? A U-Haul uh, truck. Aw. <laughs> <laughs> How about a True. food truck? Oh, oh yum. Uh, yes. A Diffy bike. <laughs> uh, a Diffy bike. <laughs> That's are those still good. around? Yeah, for oh sure. My God, a I mean, bike. now they have like the Uber ones That's or whatever, great. the Lyft <laughs> ones. Or, I don't know, whatever brand. Uh, they have a million of them. What about a short bus? Mm, 
Wow, that sounds uh, like Batmobile. you're flying something. Ooh, Batmobile. Batmobile, come on. <laughs> Robin's motorcycle. Ice cream truck. That. Ice cream truck. I like ice cream. The giant peach truck. from James and the oh, Giant Peach. Oh, there you go. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Cassandra, I need three cities. Ready? Go. Boom, boom, boom. Um, uh, One. Uh, uh, Morocco. That's not a city. That's not a city. That's a whole place. <laughs> Just the place in there. <laughs> Some somewhere, Morocco. Uh, uh like the um, uh, Casablanca. Sure. That's a movie, Jess. No, there's a, it takes place there's a place in Casablanca. It's not a place. It's a movie. Blue. Stupid. It's, it's blue. It's called blue stuff. <laughs> 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 yeah, I see you, kid. I'm not very uh, cultured. Okay, <laughs> two. <laughs> uh, uh, eh, uh, Ooh, <laughs> I don't know places. Places. <laughs> um. Uh, Santa Fe. <laughs> The Bronx. Russia. <laughs> As she said her own city. Medellin. Like, like Beijing. City. Ooh, okay. Beijing. And um, one more. The last one is <laughs> um, Transylvania. Cabo. Oh, Transylvania. What? What was the first one? San Paulo. Uh, yeah. Cabo. San. Oh, Cabo. <laughs> Cabo was the last one that she said. And yeah. Transyl Vampire. <laughs> okay, that'll be the last one. All right, let's do it. All right, Cassandra. I'll let, okay, I'm going to start doing the ticks. TikTok right. goes the clock. Tick, Here we tick, go. Tick, In tick, three, tick, two, tick. one, and I've started. Stop. Stop. Seven. Right. Seven. Lucky number seven. Seven, 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 seven. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Play all the music ones you have. Uh, Let's see our taste in music. <laughs> Good start. Beautiful. I think that's all the music ones we have right now. Pretty good taste in music. If yeah. I can say so myself. Yeah, we're very two thousand early two thousands. <laughs> pretty cool. Stuff. My manager at work Science. plays the same heartbreak playlist every single day. Oh god. Yikes. Didn't you ask uh, them if they're okay? I, I haven't. People have. You don't need to no, get into all that. It's a it's okay. a range of like two thousands R and B, modern <laughs> country. My body, your Ooh. body, my body. Yummy. Um. All right, Cassandra. Here you go. Oh here shit! Go. Here we go. <coughs> all right. <laughs> Let's go. All right, Cassandra, you are going to live in a house. You'll oh, have yeah. a roof over your head. Fuck off. You'll live in a house, that, and you'll be addicted, or you are addicted to whippets. But that's oh, okay, okay because that's because you're a drug mule, and you'll probably get yeah. more yeah. whippets. Wonderful. But you have to cool. take care of it's six dangerous. of six pets Shit. while you drive an ice cream truck in Beijing. Oh, oh damn. cool life. Cool. Pretty interesting. Cool life. Uh, hard, though. What a hard life I've had. Yeah, I was that is say, a hard like, life. All right. You got to work two jobs, quick, it sounds but at least, like. But at least you, um, at least you, you live in a house, I guess. Out of ice cream on a hot day in Beijing. <laughs> in oh, Beijing. my God. <laughs> so fucking fast. I would be <laughs> Especially if it looks like SpongeBob. How many tigers do you think Gumball you'd have to deal eyes? with? I hope not many, but probably more than or I want. Is the ice cream truck a front for your drug business? 
That's how she gets away with her drug muling, for sure. And, like, you know, with ice cream trucks, you'll have, like, the cool whip or the cool, the ready whip for your whip. So that makes sense. Your ice cream truck still has the Yeah, it all makes sense. As Michael's car. Yep. That's right. Let's go. That's so funny. Somebody's got to do one for Jess. I got it. I don't got Okay, cool. Um, what we, what what should happen is uh we should edit out like any dead part here obviously <laughs> but then like uh basically just get to like each person's like picks and then from there edit unless we say something interesting <laughs> like that we do uh like edit Rude boy. to the actual like mash thing. That way we're not like just kind of sitting here. I mean, obviously, if we have an interesting conversation, keep it going. But if we don't, like this part, you know, like keep her. Yeah, like this part for sure. Keep it. It's <laughs> perfect. Uh, this is exactly what people want to hear. Is how we're gonna edit while we're recording. <laughs> um, yeah, I might have to just start reading the final code. Fair enough. How big are the files? They're big. Um, <laughs> All right, here we go. Yeah, the full file. Actually, they're not. Three that drugs. Big since Three I drugs, finished. Jess. Three drugs, and we're gonna go with um, ketamine, ecstasy, speed. All right. Alcohol. Mm. Alcohol is the fourth. Yeah. <laughs> I am the liquor, Randy. Cheers, I'll drink to that, bro. <laughs> Ranch. Liquor's calling the shots now, Randy. Um, <laughs> all right. Um, <clears throat> three numbers. 48, 103, and three. 14. Fourteen Negative it is. Because oh, I negative use five. fourteen twice. Fourteen mm. minus five Ooh, is that nine. Is nine. Yep. So nine is the answer. All right. Uh, three <laughs> like <it>. jobs. <laughs> um. Dog walker. Old people walker. <laughs> like Jess is is the walker that they use. <laughs> 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 She's got like bend over, and they just like pick and, her up. And uh, I'll, I'll. Can you, d- can you also put down a ice cream taste tester? Ooh. Hey, can you put down a uh, lubricant taste tester? <laughs> lubricant <laughs> taste tester. Cool. That's okay, three <laughs> cities. I don't, I don't it's even on the books. Think of that. On the books. Um, <laughs> Bart Let's do Maine. Oh, Maine. <laughs> That's <laughs> no Maine, which is what's that? And it's how do you spell Medellin. 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 Okay. Um. Uh, let's do Just Boston. Just makes me think of JID's line every time. You got the plug in Medellin, Kingpin. You a pin king. Mm-hmm. And uh, and we'll do Sydney, Australia. And the fourth, folks? The Vatican. No. <laughs> um, Please, God, no. Not the North much. Pole. Dan's workshop. <laughs> no, the South Pole. <laughs> she, can't, she can't have all that joy. Dick shop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Upside Down. Illinois. Upside Ooh, I down. like that. All right. Three cars. Just fits in better there anyway. <laughs> I would. <laughs> um, if he's like, you know what? Do you want to just like become Vecna's partner? I kind of do because like that. Oh, my God, dude. Like when he was done killing all the kids and that like <laughs> face and the hair and like the way he was moving. I was so hard when he was talking to wow. Elle. I was like, oh, my God. I, that's probably why I couldn't pay attention to anything that he was saying because I was just like, "Oh my god, that was crazy!" Oh Devil my god, in a detail. Devil there for sure. Oh my something. god, 
Um, but anyway, okay, so um, what wow, was the question? we know what Jess did after watching cars. Stranger Things. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> three cars. Yeah, I know. Oh, three cars. Um, okay, <laughs> can we do like a, t- a Model T? Um, All right. I like it. That's a Ford. Let's do let's do a dragster. Fuck you. Dragster. dragster. And uh the mystery mobile. Ooh. I like it. I like it. Fourth one, folks. The hot dog mobile. The Oscar Ooh, Meyer. Oscar, Oscar, Oscar Meyer, Meyer Wiener. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, do it. <laughs> That I was gonna say, uh, to I was there. gonna say the the car from uh, Dumb and Dumber. Oh, the the, oh, the dog. The dog. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Damn it. All right. That's it actually called? in my mall. That car is in my mall. There's an auto uh, no shut collectible up. place. Yeah, I haven't walked through it yet because it costs money to walk all the way through uh-huh. it. But that's on the outside. I'll I'll take a picture of it. Cool. It yeah. All right. Here we go. I'm gonna start the ticks. Ready? And okay. go. And stop. All right, let me count. Oh, God, it's a lot. Uh-oh, okay. Um, We could make... No, it's 13. That's 13. Not bad. Okay, good. Not bad. That's 13. That's a good number. Okay, good I number. needed to put my AC on. I'm hot as... <laughs> good number, good right, number. Here we go. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> fucking family feud. <laughs> we should uh should get a guest on and play. That get a game. what going? A guest on the mm. show. Getting a drink. Get a guest. Drink. We should get Rich on the show. I've talked to him about it once. He seemed not so interested. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah, I'll check it out, and then we'll talk. <laughs> I was like, all right. <laughs> Shout out, Rich. I feel you, bud. <laughs> Mr. Brooks. always He's always been in my phone as Mr. Brooks. <laughs> Who else can we get? Maybe Morgan, I guess, but, you know, he's not reliable. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to do a game show with you? No, I'm not doing any game shows. Um, we could get uh, maybe get some Indo beats in this bitch. How we doing? We we were thinking about guests, and I said oh. Rich, but he Rich. seemed somewhat uninterested. <laughs> oh. He was like, he was like, yeah, I'll check it out, <laughs> and let oh, you know. Okay. I was like, all right. Um, I, then I said Morgan, but Morgan's unreliable. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, and depends. then I said I mean, uh, we might be able to get some Indo beats on here. Who's that? We could. That's Kyle Miller. Oh. Uh, might be able to get him on here for a little bit. Chat with us. Say what's up. We can talk to him about. He music can do stuff. a little mash. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. We could do a little mash with him. Not tell him what we're doing and just do it. <laughs> so, um, have you guys? And I know you're gonna say no, but just like really think about this question. Have you no. guys watched? <laughs> have you? Okay. Well, it's first of all, when you were kids, did you ever watch Jackass? Oh yeah, of course. Yeah. Do you uh, have you have you seen the movies? Yeah, of course. Not the have new you seen one. The, have you seen the new one? Okay. Uh, That's pretty gnarly, bro. Um, I don't know. It's just sorry. like a lot yeah, of those are forceful. A lot of them I are. I like. I mean, I think Jackass is so great. I love it so much because it's so fucking stupid. But what but is, so the is the new one? Good? Is the new one? Is the new one? All right. So I actually I didn't get to. S- I only watched four point five. I didn't actually get to watch forever, but the four point five was really funny. So I, I can w- I can imagine that the movie's good. I saw three D. All right, in here we theater. go. Okay. All right. Oh, sorry. No, you're good. All right. 
No, it, it wasn't right. important. I was just going to say the fucking <laughs> urinal or the fucking porter potty scene was awful. Porter potty, <laughs> shout out. All right, Jess, here we go. You're okay. going to live. You're going to live in. You're going to live. A house. <laughs> hey, you're also hey, living in a house. You're going to be. <laughs> You're gonna be addicted to speed. Oh shit! You're gonna have three pets, <laughs> three of them, Ooh. and your job is gonna be an ice cream taste tester in yes. Sydney, Australia. Yeah! And you're yes. gonna drive a dragster. Yeah! <laughs> oh my god! That's pretty cool. Just pretty good. Pretty cool. You just got you a pretty on top. bitch in life right there. Yeah! 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 <laughs> The yeah, dragster is a lot of fuel, but <laughs> 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 and especially in today's world, and Not especially Australia. living in Australia, I'm sure their Australia. gas prices are. Yeah, I was gonna say great. it's pronounced Australia <laughs> or Aussie land. So, folks, oh, send bad. us your mashes and let us know what you got in your life, <laughs> what the future holds for you. Email yeah. us at. The podcast. The, no. Sunday the podcast. The Sunday podcast. <laughs> the podcast. Thank you. They I knew that. it was something they like that. that. Sketch on a <laughs> show. God Bless damn. You. It's like if your life actually turned out like your mash. <laughs> oh, we should make that movie. Good. Yes. That's no, fantastic. I was just saying it was a sketch. I don't oh. want to be addicted it's, to It's a real it. sketch or. Send it, Eric. <laughs> yeah, it's a sketch on a black lady sketch show. Oh, cool. Damn it. That's such we a good idea. That. Oh, I bet it's so it. funny. Fuck, that's <laughs> such a good idea. You we'll watch it. We, you guys should watch more Baroness Von Sketch as well. I know, I know. Very funny, very funny fucking show. We were actually just talking about an episode the other day. I'll see if I can find that sketch specifically that we were talking about. <laughs> Send it to y'all. Anyway. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Anything right, cool. strange happened to anybody this week? Hmm. <laughs> well, you know, things, yes. Am I right? <laughs> 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 um, so a lot of bad things have been happening at my office, like people getting hurt or people getting sick. Sounds like so, upside down. Yeah, so I was like, okay, yeah. we need to sage this building. And so I stayed late to sage the building. <laughs> And, and your boss saw you, and he yes. was like, "Yo, no, he <laughs> saw me, and he and he was like, you know, shaking his head like this fucking voodoo shit, like you know what I mean? Like he was, because I asked him, I was like, can, we, can from, I New please? Orleans, bitch? Get the fuck out yeah, of I was like, can I please sage? Can I please sage the office? And he was like, what hell no? And I was like, no, please, come on, I really, it has <laughs> to happen, please. Like no, really, he was like, hell no. And I was like, please, can I please do it, please? And he was like, all right, fine, if you really think it's going to help. So I did it, and he was making fun of me the whole time. But um, <laughs> I, means as I was the staging. The didn't work at all because he can't, you know, you can't mock it while doing it. Pretty much. Uh, but as I was saging, I Michael spilled um, some, like, embers on my shirt, and it got a really big hole in my shirt, like a burn mark in my shirt, and it burned my bra, too. So, damn, they're trying so to get the you. Devil yeah. Okay. So you that that office is so toxic. But well, I felt I felt so much better when I did it because I just felt like it was lighter, and I actually felt super sleepy after I was doing it. So yeah, I was like, that's okay. because it got you in a fucking spell. Uh, yeah. Jess, it's time to leave. I'm I'm not ready to leave yet. I mean, I just finished no, I'm just a. Playing. Uh, I just finished a big event yesterday, and that was like the the highest point in my stress level. Like that's my max. Like I found my max. <laughs> so, so now I know how to move forward, and I yeah. think it's going to be a little less or like just c- calm down a little bit um, in the next couple of weeks, which I'm very much looking forward to. But I Hopefully also just so. don't want to go to work tomorrow. Jess, I have a question about saging. Okay. Do you need a window open when you say Yes. Windows Why? and doors to let all of the bad energy escape. And also it helps with the smoke too because you don't want that lingering smoke. Like you want it all flushed out. All right. That's what I, that's what I thought. Yeah. But it I, is I circulation, sure. but it's also like a chance for the energies to leave. Yeah. Yeah. 
Because they don't like the smell. That's what it is. Like, they don't like the smell. They don't like the smoke. Oh. They don't like the energy of How sage. do we know that? Well, that it's that's just what it does. It cleanses. It gets how rid. Do you know, though? What do you mean, how do I know? It's Eastern mythology. How many times have you saged a uh, place? Any place? I sage my apartment every time I feel that I need, like, a good refreshing start so i'll do it maybe once a month okay but it really just depends on you know how you're feeling um yeah i sage and then i use this little wooden stick that i can't remember what it's called because it's got a long name it starts with a p but you sage first and then you use the stick and it smells a little minty okay no that's not minty there's a thing that they burn at uh like a lot of like shows and festivals and shit, and I'm always like, that smells so fucking bad. Why do you like it? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. The 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 wood smells really good. Yeah. Are you talking about Palo Santo? It might. I don't know what it's called. I just know it's like a little piece of wood, typically. And I'm I'm always yeah. like, God damn, like what? I, and I heard it's like good for like DMT trips and shit. So. Uh, that's why people typically use it, I guess. So I, I guess I understand if you're at a concert, but why take DMT if you're at a concert? Take some acid or some fucking mushrooms and have a good mellow time. Uh, but that's just my yeah, own personal preference. Tell someone to not do I'm one just saying, like DMT is a fucking lot. Like I've never done it personally, but like sure. every everybody who's told me an experience about DMT. <clears throat> has never told me anything where I'm like, yeah, let me do that at a concert. That sounds amazing. <laughs> like, <laughs> Well, maybe they've done it so many times where they can do it at a concert. I mean. Right. Fair enough. Maybe, let me know, just get a little, little bit of DMT. Just a little bit. Or it's a <laughs> micro dose. Situation. Yeah, it could be. Yeah. 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 But that's what I've heard. I don't know what type of wood it is or whatever, but it is not great smelling and I don't enjoy it. I mean, and also, you know, sage can smell if you're not used to it. Like, when I was saging the office, my boss was, like, spraying Febreze because he hated the smell of sage. <laughs> so, so, literally, he's just, yeah. like, counteracting yeah. everything. Yes, because I could smell the Febreze. I was like, really, dude? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, hey, man, he let me do it. So, <laughs> I was like, like, okay. spirit or whatever that's there is just like, it's, you know, it's not great, but. I yeah. can tolerate it. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. It's like standing in the corner. That's a good sketch. <laughs> it's like God, well, like so that's the other thing. So when you're saging, you you sage the um, you you go around the trace of your house, right? So you're going along. Yeah, the you want to hit all the corners, right? Yes. Yeah, so you hit all the corners. You but you're mainly pointing up to get everything out of the c- nooks and crannies. So you're never going. You're never at the bottom, like. Towards the ground doing it, that's stupid. Don't do Why? that. Why? Why is that stupid? What if I'm on the second rises. floor? No, no, I mean, <laughs> well, that doesn't matter. It's your space. <laughs> but you know what I mean. Shut up. I would just sage your whole house if you can. <laughs> sage it up, folks. Also, do it in a clockwise motion when you do it. And you have to, like, say positive affirmations when you do it. Why? So, uh, why clockwise? Clockwise because it's um, like God's time. If you go, you know, uh, counterclockwise, that's evil. That's like demonic. So mm. you go clockwise because that's holy. Interesting. What if yes. I don't believe in either of those things? Well, um, that's fine. You know, yeah. I mean, that's totally fine if you don't believe in it, and that's and that's fine if you do, and if you don't. Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't know that song at all. So that's a little um, how-to on saging. All right, everybody. That's uh, our saging segment. (laughs) (laughs) And that's a wrap. (coughs) And next, we're going to our saging section where we talk to people named Sage. (laughs) There we go. (laughs) That's funny. Um, Just... Cuts to a girl with flowers in her hair. <laughs> hey, I'm Sage. <laughs> Do you ever like feel down? Sage. <laughs> Sage. 
so stupid. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> um, Shouldn't but other than that, haven't felt any weird things. No weird things? No weird things. No. Oh, that's, that's good. good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Always that's good why time. I sage any, once uh, a month. Any spinning chairs at your parents' house? <laughs> Eric? No. No? Mm. Good, good. Um, good. It's a different house now. Back. I bought a cat condo for Milo. Uh, cat condo. Does he oh. love it? It's Milo's actually living called, the dream. Is, uh, the is he renting cats. it out to other cats? <laughs> <laughs> He might as well. He's not using it. <laughs> timeshare, kitty timeshare. Meow, 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 meow. It's got like, it's got like two rooms. Hey, buddy. A couple, three scratch posts. And it's like three levels. God damn. Da- you yeah. better be running out some shit. You know what's funny? I had to I put got, that shit I together. got set a new scratching post because he ripped his original one to shit so i got him a new scratching post i didn't get him a condo because i'm not mr money bags but you know it was on wow. sale it was like 50 bucks. Eric. cat condos are very expensive it was like 50 bucks shut up sure. yeah Here. shut your fucking mouth <laughs> i'm sure my i mean it's not like it. i wish i could show you the picture of it um actually i can it's like Oh, dang. <gasps> Cute. What oh, my God. Fuck? I bet he loves it. That's nicer than my townhouse. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I want to be a cat. Everybody wants I to be I a do cat. I do, too. Because a cat's oh. the only cat. Yeah. Who knows Who where, knows where it's at? Where, where is it at? <laughs> you know how people that? say, like, that when cat? I die, I want to get reincarnated into a butterfly. Or, like, I want to be reincarnated into blah, blah, blah. I want to be what? reincarnated into a fucking cat. That's what I want. You know what I say? House cat. I say, when I die, fuck it, I want to go to hell because I'm a piece <laughs> of shit. It ain't hard to fucking tell. It don't make no That's sense true. going to heaven with the goody goodies. I like black pims and black hoodies. I used to be a piece of shit. I'm just saying. Yeah. You, well, you started off with a biggie line and I couldn't. I couldn't let it go. Well, I'm glad you didn't. We all know what happens when you die, and it's you all go to the pearly gates yeah. and see God and Jesus Christ because He's our Savior. Oh, you son of a bitch. Boom. Boom. <laughs> Recognize. This is mm-hmm. Christian's I world. I don't want <laughs> what, because of the suit. <laughs> um. <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, zoo, do we have zoo, any um, zoo, zoo. final thoughts? Final, final thoughts. motherfucking thoughts. Uh, <laughs> was that a sneeze? No. It was a something. Uh, it was a something. My apologies to the guy who actually plays one in Stranger Things. Uh, and As you sorry. should. Alexander I'm Skarsgård sorry that I work. thought you were a Skarsgård. I'm sorry that you have a weird, frightening face <laughs> like a Skarsgård. Uh, Shut up. They're all so beautiful. I'm not saying... They creepy. I'm, they, but I'm just saying they're, they're a little creepy creepily looking. Creepily beautiful. Great. Um, but it. it's, like, it's like they're out of a Tim Burton film. It's strange. Yeah. Uh, Birdie. But I, I will say <laughs> I am I, I apologize <laughs> and you were fucking great in that role and you fucking killed it and I was very really? very like excited to see that. So uh, Michael yeah. Yeah. final <laughs> thought over and out. Stamp. Michael approves. <coughs> Michael approves this message. Boom. Yeah, exactly. I'm I'm gonna make a fucking drop that's just that. I think you should. I um, mean, you know, we're yeah. Go ahead, Cassandra. Oh, I was just gonna say final thoughts. Just bring back uh, cereal and Frosted Flakes because that's underrated. And um, I know we didn't really touch on it at all or much or any. Um, what? what it all means. <laughs> but uh, I do love cereal, and I know we've talked about this previously on other yes. podcasts, but I just want the people to know 
let me know your favorite cereal. I am dying to know. Email us. <laughs> shout us out on social needs. Just hang on. Let While us we're on the topic. shout. I'm gonna What's post a segment about on. cereal. Sour cream donuts. Did you all try them? Oh, I they were fine. fine. They're, they they're were nothing fine. special. They were fine. Nothing special. You had the wrong ones. They were they were just like any other fucking donut, bro. No, Get they're like way more them. moist. They're way more moist. It's I'll give you, you that. I'll holes. give you that. They I were more you, moist. I will I give you, you they were more moist, but they, they were, were not moister? better. They were not moister? better. They were fine. They were That's just what I said. Good. I said it's just like a reg- it's a regular donut, just more moist. From no, you were you were always saying that it was better. Better how? You More always moist. say every single time you're like, oh, but sour cream donuts are better. better. Yeah, they're, they're more better. moist. <laughs> they're more moist. Better. And I was I'm saying they're the same. It's exact it's, they're not the, it's same. the same. It's the same. Effects. It's better. Cakes. <laughs> you want a moisture cake. Cake texture, you want it to be moist, not dry. Moist cake. Moist. And I will die on that hill. I, I want to be sitting on it. Anytime we need Eric to just shut up, we just sing, I want to be sitting. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Eric, I looked and I couldn't Instagram find it. Login? Oh, well, we probably oh. shouldn't say that live. So yeah. after. <laughs> I'll, I'll give it to you after. Edit, edit, edit. <laughs> well, it's fine. Nobody said it. So. <laughs> anyway. Uh, uh, okay cool oh my final thoughts are that um <sighs> um you know don't give up when things get hard and you know that there's always another way and um you know don't hurt other people on purpose um, yeah and that, uh, you know, I think this podcast is really coming together. Every time we do it, we learn something new. And I think it's really great. And I hope you think that, too. Rhymes, so you know it's real. True that. That makes um, all the difference. It does. For my final thoughts, I just want to shout out the people that actually listen to this yeah Yeah. i think we have eight views so far on youtube what up seriously okay i'm telling you that they actually listen to it and and that means at least four people are listening to this podcast (laughs) thank you thank you for listening (laughs) thanks for sticking it out this far yeah that do it oh whoops because i kept hitting the refresh page is that bad i will say i I was kind of doing that with my last <coughs> single that I dropped because you would it would no because it was so weird. It was the first time that I've ever had like a response like that. So I was just like, "What the fuck is happening? Like, it's got to stop at some point." You know what I mean? And it felt like it wasn't. And it, you know, it did. So humble. <laughs> it's the it was the first time I had never felt that before in my life. I was appreciative i was like holy shit people are liking no it. michael that <laughs> you know? it's a big deal i'm just fucking with you no but, like, i know that but is, I, that's huge i'm being genuine like i was just like holy shit like this is crazy and i wasn't like refreshing like holy fuck like every minute it was just like every once in a while i'd be like all right well let me see what the number's at now you know what i mean even last night though like when you did your show like there were still people who weren't you know me or anyone in our group here, like, yeah. ac- listening. So I think that yeah. that was really cool, too. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I didn't have, like, a lot of people listening at once, but it was, I mean, it was it was, it was, it was a good, good turnout for, like, a last-minute type of thing. I decided, yeah. like, yeah. two hours before that I was going to do it. Yeah. So. Well, you know, yeah, if you send the link, you know, I'll, I'll do my best to, to watch. I was actually, like, in bed watching because I was just so exhausted. But I was like, I gotta, I gotta do, I gotta watch it for a little bit, you know, gotta yeah. see what this is all about. And it was a really good set. I mean, from what I was listening to, it was really good. Yeah, it was I a liked fun it. set for sure. Got another show coming up June twenty eighth. So if you're in the Denver area, 
Stop by. Come check Stop it out. By. It's at the black box. Yo, It'll we'll put fun. it up on our website and socials and stuff so you won't miss yeah, it. I you need know. To, I also Any, need yeah. to log in, but we'll Well, I, I sent it to you guys, so I yeah, am forgetful. It. Um, it's okay. Anyway, uh yeah. Any Eric, do you have final, final thoughts, thoughts for Eric? Go. Awesome. Uh, so yeah, like, subscribe, comment, share, all the things, send us an email, hit us up at there, the Sundays the Podcast. Eric, should we do the track one more time to like hit it? Yeah. I think so. All right. Bye. So, peace peace and blessings.